Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is Final Cut Pro 10, otherwise known as Final Cut Pro X. And what we're going to do is show you how to do voiceover in Final Cut Pro. Very simple. I'm assuming they actually know how to put a video clip in the timeline there. So what you're going to do is grab the scrubber and put the scrubber exactly where you want the voiceover to start. Then you go to the window menu item and you go down to the record voiceover. And there's also a keyboard shortcut to the to the right there, not left, to the right. That requires you to do option, the Apple key, and the number eight. But to me, if it takes more than three fingers to do a shortcut, I don't even bother with it. So I just go ahead and click on that voiceover. So what happens is you get a little uh, window pop up, and you'll have the ability to actually control the gain, change the name of this this uh, voiceover file. Because what it's going to do is actually you're going to record audio, but it's going to store it in your, your project library on the, on the left. Okay, so other options down here, countdown, mute the project, create. You can send it to a different event. Those are pretty much the options. What I usually do is just hit that red record button there, and it starts the voiceover recording. Making sure, of course, that your gain is at a good level. Okay, then I got the countdown, three, two, one, and the voiceover will actually start recording. Okay, you'll see it at the bottom there with the green appearing. Once you're finished, you just go ahead and hit that stop button, and the voiceover will be where you had it. From here, you can actually do any editing, raise the volume, or um, I'll put a link up in the top right here showing you a link to the editing audio and Final Cut Pro tutorial. Okay, everybody, thanks for watching. It's very straightforward, very simple. We'll see you next time. Don't forget peace and a whole bunch of aloha. Thanks for watching.